Hiya and welcome to Etsy Crafty. Tonight I'm in my A5 Archer and Olive bullet journal and I'm going to do some pen swatches on this page using some stamps that I have from Planners Anonymous and the pens I'm going to swatch are the Tropical Selection of 0.7mm tip Acrylograph paint pens from Archer and Olive and also the acrylograph pens that came in the first subscription box for December. The first thing I need to do is basically get the stamps on the page and then I'll colour in parts of the stamps. This is a Fiskars stamp block and I've just attached the clear stamp on there. This is a clear stamp of a book. It came in the Book Lovers stamp set from Planners Anonymous. You can see it there. And I'm just going to stamp that on the page. And I'll be using my old VersaFine black ink. I've had it a few years now, but it still seems to work. I like to put the ink above the stamp and then pop it on. And as it's the first time I've stamped with this for a while, I'm just going to try it on a piece of paper here, just to make sure I have the pressure correct. Okay, I'm happy with that. So that was a really, really light amount of pressure. So that's the way I'm going to go. I want to get it approximately halfway. I should have probably counted the squares in order to do this, but I'm just going to eyeball it. Okay, so there's the book, and I'll just use a baby wipe on here. I always clean stamps as I go, just with a baby wipe. It just seems easier at the end of the day. I'll just zoom in on the page so you can see what I'm doing. You can see the inking isn't perfect by any means, but that doesn't bother me at all. The next stamp I'm going to use is this one here, which it's a little bit hard to see, but it's basically this tube of paint here with the paint coming out. And this is from the Northern Lights kit from Planners Anonymous. Because it's such a small stamp, I just have a small stamp block for it this time. And I'll just do the same thing, just inking it on here. And I'll try it on a scrap piece of paper, just with a light press in the center. Okay, that's good. Happy with that. I have no plan actually um, as to how I'm going to do this. There are nine colours in the set because there's also a blending pen, so there's no point swatching the blending pen. And I really don't have a clue what I'm going to do. I think I'll just see how it turns out. stamped nine paint tubes here which I'll colour for the tropical pens and I have five here for the sub box pens and then in the Northern Lights stamp set there's a couple of stamps here of paint brushes so I might just pop them in here dividing the two sets and then I can write what each set is on the page of the book. I'll just give the ink a few minutes to dry. I think I'll go and make a cup of tea and then by the time my tea's made, I'll be able to color these in. I've just let the ink dry a little bit and I thought you might be wondering about the reverse side of the page. So this ink was VersaFine black ink and let's see if there's any bleeding. 
There's definitely no bleeding. I don't even think there's any shadowing. You really can't see anything at all on that reverse side of the page. These Archer and Olive notebooks have 160 GSM paper weight, so it's really nice thick paper. Okay, so now for the pens. This is the Tropical set with the 0.7mm tip from Archer and Olive, the Acrylograph pens. They come in this fancy box. You have a blending palette on this side. There's directions about how to activate the pens, etc. on this side. And you've got tips on how to blend. And then you've got all your pens here, all nicely divided. And there's also a couple of extra nibs there if you need them. I've colour swatched these already and activated them, so I shouldn't need to reactivate them now, but we'll see how we go. My plan is just to paint each of the labels on the tube and then the ink coming out of the tube. The first pen is the white pen. I think all of the acrylograph sets come with a white. This will be a little bit hard for you to see. I might just colour all of that in. Obviously the white's a little bit hard to see, so let's have a look at the next colour. I don't know if the colours have any names, I don't believe they do, but this is the next colour. And the next colour is an orange type colour from the looks of it. Colours would be useful. Colour names would be really useful. You can see with that one, some of the black ink that I coloured over is still showing. So when that's dry, I might just pop another layer on top of that. So the next pen is a yellow. And then there's this nice minty green. Okay, this one needs reactivated. I just shook the pen and then pushed the nib down on the blending palette to get it restarted. I don't think that ink's completely coming out of it. It might just take a little bit of patience. So the ink seems to be coming out of it now. The next colour is this much brighter green. Then there's a really nice looking blue. I like that blue. And then there's this lavender. Actually, it's a much darker purple than it looks from the tip. And then there's a grey. And the remaining pen in the set is a blending pen. So it doesn't have any colour itself. It's just for blending other colours together. So these are the colours in the tropical set and I actually quite like how that little bit of ink's coming through on the label so I think I'm going to leave them like that and now I can colour these ones with the pens that came in the December subscription box. So there's a quarterly subscription box which Archer and Olive have just started. The one that was posted on the 1st of December was the first subscription. And the next one will be posted on the 1st of March. I was really happy with my sub box and I have an unboxing video if you're interested in seeing what was in it. But part of what was in it was these five pens. So, so I'll colour swatch these five pens along here.
I've just let the paint pens dry and hopefully you can see them there and I just want to show you this this one here is metallic hopefully you can see the light catching it there compared to that's the grey from the tropical so in the December sub box there was this sort of chrome metallic silver pen which is pretty cool so there were these five different colours and then the other colours over here of the tropical set so they're the acrylograph pens that I own at the moment. I'm a big fan of them. It's like a paint. I mean, it works like a paint, but it's so easy to use because it's in a pen, particularly these 0.7 millimeter pens. I think the three millimeter nibs will be fantastic for large coloring, but at the moment I've only been coloring sort of on a small scale. So I think the 0.7 millimeter pens are perfect. So all I want to do now, I think, is just write in the book just to indicate which each set is. And um, maybe over time, I'll be able to fill this page up with more sets. So this is my completed pen swatch as it stands at the moment with all of my Acrylograph pens. I'm really pleased with how it's turned out because I sort of had no idea how it was going to turn out when I started. I just knew I wanted to do some stamping with it. If we just look on the reverse side, you can see nothing's come through the page there at all. And there's the spread. Thanks so much for watching my little colour swatch video and hopefully it's inspired you to create something. I'm actually really happy with it and it was fun to pull out some old stamps and use them again. I'm looking forward to creating more with these acrylograph pens and maybe I'll catch you in a future video. Bye!